Alrighty, I actually have a construction update on the new ride at Canada's Wonderland. So markings have appeared and they are definitely marking where the support columns are gonna go for this attraction. And when you see where they're gonna go, you actually can see exactly where it's gonna swing. There's one support column that's gonna tuck in between a support column of Yukon Striker and the track. It looks like a really tight fit, but when we mapped it out, it honestly will work and it's going to have really close calls with Yukon Striker, that swing radius. So that ride's actually gonna be pretty sick. But yeah, pretty surprised that we're seeing construction markings pop up for flat rides. Wonderland usually starts flat ride, flat ride construction in like late winter, early, early spring. And then it just pops right up and they're good to go. So it's weird to see that. Um, and not construction starting on the new coaster, just more markings. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Riptide always shuts down um, early in the season, so this is them just packing Riptide up. Um, nothing new going on there, they're just packing that ride up and putting her to sleep until spring next year. So yeah, I just thought that'd be cool to film for you guys. Um, trying to think if there was anything else. Um, oh yes, Haunt Prep. So <laughs> there's actually a lot. Uh, you'll see the new restaurant. We got to somewhat experience the bar and all that. But um, this is where Vampire Disco is going to go. They're getting that ready and set up. It looks like it's going to be the new Vampire Disco and not the old one, not Silent Disco. And the new Haunt Store is looking really good. Uh, these windows actually have like holographic like TV screens that look realistic, especially at night. At the end of the video, uh, you'll see the night versions of those. But that was really cool. I, I really like their haunt store. I love the stuff that they sell, so I'm super excited about that. But let me rant about Wonderland and their theming right now. I absolutely love the haunt decor. I shouldn't say haunt decor. It's more so fall decor and this new restaurant. The new restaurant is honestly so stunning. The amount of, uh, like, the attention to detail that they put into this thing. The sign. I rave about Wonderland's sign team, like, all the time. But the sign department at Canada's Wonderland is insane. They knocked it out of the park again with that new entrance sign, as you just saw. The stained furniture that was stained at Canada's Wonderland looks amazing. The restaurant looks amazing. The detail to just covering up the conduit, the wires inside the restaurant, amazing. The little critters that are scattered all over the restaurant, amazing. The theming, amazing. The themed restrooms amazing there's a little like signage and there could even be like you know how every cedar fair park has like little storylines and all that for their rides it looks like this restaurant's going to introduce little kind of like tidbits nothing like significant but little tidbits to the rides in the park so just oh honestly like as you can hear my voice i am so impressed now, it is up to the food department to knock this restaurant out of the park, okay? Because the, the menu is looks good, okay? I have a few questions about some of the sides, but that's just nitpicking, and that's being a Karen. I will put my opinions on the sides aside. <laughs> um, but look at this restaurant. Look at it. Look at it. It's amazing. Like, oh my goodness. I was not expecting, I was expecting a nice restaurant. I wasn't expecting this much attention to detail. This is so Wonderland taking a step in the right direction. And if you look at the fall decor scattered around the park, it is so much better than years past. Whoever is in charge of decor at Canada's Wonderland, I'm, I'm assuming it's a sign department or carpentry, something, some department along those routes. It is just, oh my God, I could cry. I'm a huge fan of Dollywood, a huge fan of Dollywood. It's my favorite park, and Wonderland is taking steps towards it. <sighs> I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't film the fall decor. I was so focused. I Like, there's a couple things. I'm, I was going to rant in this video about the food department, but I'm going to make a separate video. I wanted this to be just about my positives on the park. And, like, honestly, there's a lot to be really happy about if you're a Canada's Wonderland fan because the park is taking steps in the right direction. They're receiving the most investments, and there's signs that there's a whole nother restaurant or building coming in 2023 as well. If you look at the insulation that's stored in the parking lot, it's enough for a whole nother building. So, fingers crossed that there is more restaurants or restaurant upgrades coming in 2023. And with the amount of money that we're hearing that Wonderland's going to be getting over the next couple years, I could see that happening. But I, if for any of you that know me, I spent a fortune at Canada's Wonderland last year at the Haunt Store, and I expect to spend a fortune 
this year as well, based off of what I've already seen in that window, window shopping. But Oktoberfest seemed to be a really big hit at Canada's Wonderland this year. It was really exciting to see just people like with those massive jugs of beer. But here's those haunt store windows, the haunt boutique um, at night. Thought you guys would like want to see them and check them out. All right, um, stay tuned because this video is going to get posted and then my rant video is going to get posted almost like right after. So stay, stay tuned for that. Um, I do want people to know that if you're not into like negative reviews on Wonderland, then maybe don't watch my next video. Um, but as someone who has been a business manager for one of the world's largest coffee shops for over 10 years, I have a lot of experience and I've just witnessed a lot of things that I cannot turn a blind eye to anymore. And I just have to speak on it. Anyways, see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.